What's up everybody? So in these short little videos, we're gonna be going over your speeds and powers for your CO2 laser engraver. Uh, today's episode, we're gonna be going over anodized aluminum. So again, without further delay, let's head on over to the laptop and we'll check things out. All right, so this is the anodized aluminum dog tag that we're going to be engraving on today. I'm not gonna explain anything about my jig. If you guys are really curious on how I put that together, just drop me some comments and I'll make a short video on that. But heading on over, this is the image that we're going to be putting on the dog tag today. And we are using 30% power at 200 millimeters a second. Uh, this is an 80 watt CO2 laser engraver. One thing to note on the dog tags, if you have an airline assist going in, which most engravers do, you will either want to turn your air assist way down or just turn it off completely. I don't have an adjustment valve on this particular engraver, so I just turned off my pump. If you leave the pump on or too high, you'll actually blow the dog tag around and it'll jump around and you'll get a really fuzzy image. Just a little note there for you. But I'm gonna set up the camera and we'll get this engraving. And as always, you don't have to watch, but we'll go over it at the end and we'll see how it looks. So going in for a close up, you can see the image quality on the anodized aluminum dog tag here. Again, this is 30% power at 200 millimeters a second on the speed. I think that I squeezed this image a little bit too small on this dog tag. So I did do another one off camera. You can kind of see it. again, it's same settings, same powers, everything's the same. Just a slightly different image, obviously. But that is how they turned out. So that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if there's anything that you would like to see me try to engrave, go ahead and drop me some comments. We'll go over it, do some testing, and uh, see if we can't figure it out for you. Also, don't forget to check out my website. Uh, link down below. Why am I telling you that? You know where it's at. Anywho, until then, I'll see you guys on the next build. All right, bye.